Hey guys, here I am with a nice cup of tea and a nice game of Demon Souls. It's shaping up to be a pretty nice afternoon, I think. <laughs> uh, we are going to carry on in Demon Souls, but first, as you might notice if you look in the lower right corner, I have a whopping amount of souls, 401,000. Now, what the hell happened since last episode, I hear you all ask? Well, I got this plan, you see, to go and upgrade uh, my my weapons, or mainly my Dark Heater shield and my Crushing Crescent Axe. Uh, so I decided I should go farming in uh, this area here, amongst other places, farming the uh, Sky Beasts or Manta Rays or whatever the hell they're called, using that big flipping sword. And let me tell you, I spent about three years here. Ah, it's incredibly dull. I think I farmed about 450,000 souls from these guys and from all that trouble I got like 99 shards of cloudstones which is fine and uh, I think three chunks of cloudstones which is fucking ridiculous I spent ages in here and I still haven't gotten enough uh, chunks of cloudstone to upgrade my shield uh, it's absolutely Stupid. I don't know why they make it so damn hard to farm for certain upgrade stones in Demon Souls. It's kind of clear that they want you to play the game, play, play New Game Plus and so forth to kind of get hold of all the upgrade stones. So I kind of did some minor upgrading. I think I upgraded my uh, axe one step and my shield one step as well. But I still need like a substantial amount of, of stuff to upgrade. I think it's grey stone I need for my axe and of course cloud stone for my shield. So yeah. So uh, I'm I'm see I'm I'm not sure if I'm going to do that in this playthrough. I'll see if I might try another farming session because oh god it was so boring. <laughs> I don't feel like doing that again, but we'll see. And um, my souls I have bought some stuff uh, for these souls I made, but I'm not going to use them to level up because I think it's kind of cheap doing that. Um, so I'm kind of just going to lose the souls by just returning to the nexus with the. Uh, well, there's a special item. You'll you'll see. But before we do that, we are going to go pick up some stuff. I don't know how I missed this item here last time. I must have been completely flipping blind or something. So we're going to return back here as well because there's more stuff that I've left behind. And as you all know by now, I'm sure I don't leave any items behind. So we're going to go back to the slug arena here. And uh, the balls of exploding doomness. A boom. Uh, let me see. This uh, is another area I've missed. Is it? No, hang on. I think it's if we return this way, it's going to be an item or two, maybe. I think it was over here. Oh, balls. That's not where I wanted to go. Keep doing that. I think it's down. Yeah, down here. And I. Note to self, I can't do plunge attacks. I was going to do a plunge attack there, but that doesn't really work in Demon Souls. So, uh, so I'm going to try and uh, remember that. And just walk down here instead and murder these guys. And why are you locking onto the wrong dude? Why can't you read my mind, game? Oops. All right, so let me know what's so valuable down here. Shard of sucker stone, sticky white stuff. Uh, yeah, that wasn't terribly useful. But hey, sticky white stuff is kind of nice. And please feel free to insert your own pervy joke there. All right. <laughs> oh, what are you doing up here? No idea, really. But we can't have that, so die, please. And uh, we are going to go back to the Nexus, and yes, we're going to use the... I'm just going to kind of get out of the the area of the exploding boom balls of doom here. Let's go in here. We're going to use the item that is called... Let me see... Uh, Nexual 
binding user user lo loses cells and is returned to the nexus. So I'm just going to make you know get rid of all my 400,000 cells because I think it's kind of cheap to upgrade or level up using them. I have bought some uh, stuff for about 50,000, uh, but yeah, let's just get rid of the rest of them and kind of use the souls, the normal souls, to level up. I hope I don't do anything stupid as nothing else happens, right? No. All right, let's let's do this. Yeah, that that kind of felt a bit painful losing 400,000 souls like that, but I just think it's kind of cheap using it to level up. Um when I haven't quite earned them. Um Yeah, and we do have Another thing I talked about last episode was murdering Yurt, the silent chef. He's a right proper Jamie Oliver, that guy. All about baking cakes and throwing parties and being nice and all that. Now, now he's a bit of an arsehole. The, um, the name is Yurt, the silent chief, and he's going to materialize up here somewhere once I defeat the next boss. And we're going to have to go and find him and murder him. Put a lot of holes in his back, basically. Uh, but we can't do that until we fight the next boss. So, what are we going to do now? What are we going to do until then? I'm thinking maybe we're going to go to the Tower of Latria. Yeah, got some stuff to pick up there. And you can actually find Yurt uh, in this area. He will patrol around it until you kill the next boss. If you want to kill him before he arrives in the Nexus, you can actually do that. So just go to the place where you set him free when you met him the first time. Hello! I haven't seen you here before. Now this guy actually shows up once you've uh, destroyed the, uh, the big beating heart, so... Uh... Oh, hi. No, yeah, th yeah, that's right. Just piss off back from where you came. Or not. All right, I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you. And you're going to regret ever coming after me, all right? Thank you. Yeah, these guys show up once you've destroyed the beating heart. And, uh, yeah, we've got some stuff to uh, pick up in Tower of Latria. So let's do that. Do I want to kill you? No, I don't. I can't be bothered, so you can just stay out there, all right? And don't be getting any ideas and following me, all right? I don't think he does, but we'll find out. We're going to go up here and fall down and pick up the item I was talking about. Maybe, maybe not last episode, but the episode before that, I think. And, uh... Beware of false messages. Yeah, uh, I... I think there was a message here last episode that said you can fall down here, kind of. And I think this is where you're supposed to fall down to get... Yeah, you can see that item down to the right. And I, I don't feel super confident about this because I just happen to know about this. I'm not sure if I've ever done it. Uh, but let's see if we can fall down without dying horribly, shall we? I have a bad feeling about this! Oop. No, 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 don't... Okay, that worked. Only slightly hair-raising that. Better have a sip of tea to celebrate my continued survival here. Yep. Oops. Who's puking around here? What the hell was that? <laughs> what the hell was that sound? Did you hear that? It sounded like someone was throwing up. <laughs> I'm not sure what that was. <laughs> it sounded familiar. But let's pick up this stuff. Rune sword and rune shield. I th think that's the items that um, Ostrava has, right? The bastard. Um, let's see if we can uh, have a bit of a look, shall we? Rune sword. Physical attack power is negligible, but it's enchanted with powerful spells and protects the wielder from magic. Okay, that's nice. How about the shield? Is this an anti-magic shield? Oh yes! Protects the user from magical attacks. I seem to remember that. I might actually have picked this up before. Uh, but we're going to go down here now because this is actually where I wanted to go as well. Oh, I think we found the source of the sound. Are you feeling unwell? 
Let me see if I can remedy that. Did that help? No stomach should really alleviate your problem quite a bit, right? Yeah, much better. So we're gonna... G uh, hang on, where the hell am I? We're gonna go this way, I think. All evil pottery must die. I'm gonna go down here because this is where the heart fell down. And these guys kind of materialized out of nowhere. Ooh! Oh shit, I thought I was gonna fall off there. Whoa, jeebus! Guys, what the fuck are you doing? Oh, jeez. Ah, uh, that was kind of scary, that. Yeah, fall down, fall down, yeah. Bye. Enjoy. Yes, go down here and find some stuff. That is what we're gonna do. In here to be a bit more specific. Hey, haven't you seen me? Well, you have now. You guys are annoying more than anything else. You do realize that, right? Shard of Mercury Stone. Oh, no, no. Oh, you still got me. I'm, sh I'm sorry. You're going to have to uh, pay for that. But please come on down. Oh, no, no, no. Can hear something. What the hell? Come on down, or I will shoot you down. I promise. Maybe, or I think he's coming down. That's all right. We're gonna go up here and kill this guy, so he doesn't feel left out. Maybe. Could you make up your flipping mind? Where do you want to go? Ah. This is the right part of going down here. Are oh, you still alive? Yes. All right. I don't know where you came from, but please go back to whence you came. Uh, okay. Can I get some peace and quiet to actually go in here and pick up some stuff? I'm gonna go this way, I think, because I feel like it. Ah, oh, so many of these guys. So many of these guys, really. I think there's some useful stuff down here. Gold mask? Hmm. Can't remember what that is. Anything useful, maybe? Let's see. Really no idea if that is any good whatsoever. I don't think it is, maybe. Not really. It does have some resistance to stuff, so oh, we could try and wear it, I suppose. If I can. No, I can't. Oh, it's female only, of course. Yes, all right. Never mind then. Ring of Avarice. I think that will actually increase soul drops, I believe. Obtain more souls when slaying enemies. Yes, that's nice. Unfortunately, it does not, I think at least, increase item drops. Which would be very, very good if I could get that. Because if I'm going to do more farming, I would very much like to find a way to increase item drops. And you can actually get uh, increased item drops if you... Uh, get the world to pure black tendency so that is kind of one way of doing it as far as I know but I was thinking about actually making uh, or you know trying to um, get my world to white tendency first and then maybe black if I can be bothered we'll see about that but of course uh, what kind of happened now? I'm playing online because I want to be invaded and for some bizarre reason when you connect to the Demon Soul servers all your world's tendencies are set to an average of the other players in the Demon Souls community. So I kind of lost all my near white worlds. It's really a pain and I don't understand why they do it like this. I mean sure you can play offline to avoid that uh, but I want to be invaded as well. Not that I've 
been invaded much, but it's kind of nice. I want to be uh, have that possibility. So yeah, it's kind of frustrating. So I don't know what to do with that really. It would be fun to show you guys some of the white world tendency things. There's events that will happen if you have white world tendency or black world tendency. It's all very obscure and confusing so but I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do that frankly because it's a pain in the ass. <laughs> and occasionally the servers, uh, the online servers in Demon Souls will have like pure white and pure black world events where all the games in the community will be set to either black and white and I'm not sure if they still do that but they used to do that a couple of years ago at least if anyone knows let me know um so what are we gonna do um I could go fight the uh what's the face the man eaters I think boss the next boss in this map but frankly I'm not really looking forward to that so uh, it's really a bit of a pain in the ass that boss fight is pretty difficult at least I'm having problems with it uh, we could go fight King Alant um, because he is certainly easier but then we would have to deal with the dragon and frankly I'm not in the mood to kill that dragon You'll see what I mean when we get to it. It's really also a pain in the ass. So maybe I should do something completely different. We are going to run back anyway. And um, oh yes, we could we could do another thing. We could actually go back to Volataria 2, map 2, and actually kill the dragon that is hanging out there. Because that is actually possible. And I have bought some arrows. So maybe we should try and do that. I think we should, yeah, let's do it. And on a completely unrelated note, uh, Bloodborne is soon here. I think uh, it's going to be released in Europe, well, in Sweden at least, around the 25th or the 26th of March. And yes, I have put down an order and I will uh, be making videos about the game for sure. And uh, yes, I've put down a pre-order as I've said. I don't really like pre-orders, but I'm making an exception for this. Oh, you got me. That was nice. Thanks. Great. Um, yeah, we're going to kill this guy because I'm sick and tired of hearing him. And there's some useless items here that we could pick up just because, why not? But I'm gonna run in here instead of picking up the last item because he will barbecue me if I try to pick that up. Yes, we are gonna murder the dragon! Just because I can, I just realized I hadn't done this. Oops. Boom! And you just dropped these absolutely useless items. Let's, let's make this a bit more interesting. No, come on down. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Come on down. Oh, yes. Here you go. Enjoy! Hey, guys, what you doing? Ah, oh, dear God, you got me. That's... Ah, oh, what? Keep doing that guard break when I don't want to. <laughs> All right, here's the annoying dragon thing. We're going to kill him with arrows, and uh, at least I, I remember being able to do that. Let's just see how many arrows I've got. 140. I think that is enough. I hope it is, otherwise I'm going to have to return to the next and buy more. But yeah. This is going to take a very long time, so uh, yeah. We're definitely going to speed this up. <laughs> You know what, guys? I can't be bothered doing this. I've wasted almost a hundred arrows here, and I can't get the timing right, and I'm not really doing enough damage. So uh, I'm going to come back with some rotten arrows, poisonous arrows instead, 
that is most likely gonna be a bit more effective. You can also use kunai, the poisonous knives, but jeez, I can't get the timing right there either. It's just taking too long and it's just too damn boring. So, uh, we might actually go to, um, what's that area called? The Blight Town of Demon Souls? Valley of Defilement, yes. We might actually go there and buy some rotten arrows because I love that place. No, I don't. But I'm gonna go there anyway, so see you over there after I pick up this winged useless spear and then get burned to death by the dragon almost, but not quite. Anyway guys, see you in the Valley of Defilement. Oh bloody hell, my tea has gone cold thanks to that bastard dragon. Yeah, great. Yeah, but this is where we're gonna have to go. The, uh, the Valley of Defilement. Yes. Ah, I'm not looking forward to this, you know. Um, you know what, guys? We might actually save this for the next episode. I think we have reached a nice round number of minutes for this episode. So, uh, see you in the next one. In the Valley of Defilement. Fun, fun times. <laughs> Alright, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.